So Shalom, we are here at, what is it called? Lazy Days RV. And today's mission is to look at a travel trailer that has a bunk room, right? So are you ready, Butler's Unboxed? Yes, Let's go. And so today's uh, travel trailer we're gonna be doing a video on is a coachman. And it is called the Catalina legacy edition and if i'm not mistaken this is a 32 footer with the bunkhouse so let's take a look on the inside so let me make this a little there we go so when you first walk in um i actually absolutely like this rv personally even for a family of our size um i think the tv has is a big enough size i like the coziness of the fireplace and it seems like everything has a place. My big thing is everything needs a home, right? So you can put phone charges and things in there. It has space for something else that you may want to house. You have the uh, radio and the sound system here. Um, and then you have even more space. Now we are not big like video gamers or anything, but I'm sure my husband can appreciate if he can have a space for his gaming system so it looks like this has enough space for that all right I so i do like the couch being here and the um dining area being here and this can go down be laid flat the cushions can go flat and this can be more seating area or it can actually turn into a bed for guests and this can lay out into a bed as well the shades here absolutely great for children it's kind of hard to pull down but with a two-year-old like we have, baby Judah, he can break anything. This seems a little harder for him to get to. And it blocks the light fantastically. In the summer, you do like to leave it down to help reduce the heat inside of the RV. Um, let's look at the kitchen. So the, here at the kitchen, I think it has just enough space. It's not too much. It's not too little when it comes to small living. You do have a place that you can put a small coffee maker. Um... And let's see, you have some count, uh, cabinet space. Now, keep in mind that you are not going to get the same space in a travel trailer, but I could be wrong. But this one, you're not gonna, we're not gonna get the same space that we would in our fifth wheel. We will have to definitely downsize. The oven is a little small, but I'm not a big cooker, right? So it's perfect, it's perfect for your girl. Um, and you got the three, bu three burner stove here and you have now the fridge freezer is much bigger than what we currently have and the freezer refrigerator seems to be bigger than what we have currently so that is a absolute plus so that is the kitchen area of this coachman nice and cozy gets the job done here's the view of the front from the inside and i actually love that lighting fixture too now, you do have more storage when it comes to under the benches, which is always a plus. All right, let's move right along. We have more storage here and here, right? So you can definitely just use this with your canned goods, stack your oatmeal and your sugar, and this can be pretty much just your pantry area. Um, I probably would use this for more pantry area for foods that we don't need right away. Um, but yeah. All right. So now we have the bathroom. The bathroom seems nice and spacious, especially the shower. It doesn't look like you'll be bumping, uh, your elbows and stuff while you are, um, showering. So I think that's cool. And I do like this little nook. All, that's all I need. Just a little nook to put maybe my essential oil diffuser and a nice flower. Um, toothbrushes and stuff can go easily go up in here. Let's take a look. Easy fit. When you're downsizing, you honestly don't need that much room. The less stuff you have, honestly, the less headache you have. All right, let's move to my favorite part, the bunk room. All right, so here we have the bunk room and I am, this is my favorite part of this travel trailer. And I say that because normally with travel trailers, you don't have enough space when it comes to having this many children, but this has four sleeping areas and I love it. So 
it has this bed here it has that bed there they can let down and then it has these two beds i love that i would not have to go get a new table i can literally get them some fold-up chairs they can sit here and still do their schoolwork. i do like that there are four areas and i would buy them some kind of containers or something to house now that's kind of small but judah's clothes are small and they still can fit there and you know hubby can build some shelving or we can put some kind of containers that stack up to have their clothes and maybe put a small rod there for slight hanging clothes but we don't hang a lot of clothes already as it is i will put homeschool stuff i don't want them to touch right there and again another area for some more shoes and more clothing which probably be let's see and another area for more clothing and more things of theirs um under here there is more storage so i think this is fantastic and you can put a tv there if you choose to and there is a air conditioning unit in their room i absolutely love it absolutely love it kids need their own you know sometimes in the back it can get hot and um all the time there's not a extra air conditioning unit in the children's room but there is there and you have this air conditioning unit here in this main space all right let's move to the master bedroom now another thing i like about this travel trailer is that there's a actual entire wall a lot of times this part is open and that part is open and you can just see the bed from the main area but i like that i can literally still come in here and have some space or some time to myself so mommy having some time to herself is very important um, and it does have a vent right here for air and you can still put a small TV there. I do like having my Netflix and chill moments of all by myself. I do like the areas that we both have on each side, which we don't currently have now. So that would be a nice addition. And then you can still hang some stuff on each side. And then there's more storage here and there. And there is more storage under and You the can bed. still put more things under the bed. Right now, there's currently a TV in there. But yes, so more storage. And I do like having windows in my room because I, sometimes I like opening it, especially when we're having boondocking days. So, um, and then you have this space here, which would definitely be for shoes or um, like outside candles, lanterns and things like that. That way I don't have to figure out where to put shoes. You can put them right there. So this is the inside of the um, Coachman Catalina Legacy Edition. I'm going to let Zay take you guys on really the Really quickly before Zay takes over, I do not like that it does not have any storage. Any storage, guys. That's the only thing about the travel trailer here. It does not have any storage. So you would definitely have to downgrade so much things and we have generators and grills and tools and things with us so we we'll definitely have to figure it out now this one it does have an outside grill so the grill is something we can definitely get rid of because there's already a way to cook already attached so that's one thing we can definitely get rid of and a lot of other outside items like i guess the mosquito repellent and things like that can go here and if you need more space in the refrigerator you can put it there so i do love that it does have an outside kitchen it is a plus it is definitely a plus all right let's bring in daddy zay he'll take you guys around on the outside hey hey everybody so i'm gonna uh follow up with amber on the catalina legacy uh the coachman i can't remember the uh exact model number so we'll go over here and check it out and uh, we'll give you a good review on the exterior of this here travel trailer. So this one here is the Catalina 32-3QBTS. So this one's a really nice unit. It's got the solid steps on the outside. And then when you come to the, I guess your entrance side, it doesn't have virtually any storage. The basement is super tiny. Um, but there's trade-offs when you go from a fifth wheel to a travel trailer. So, that's so when part. it comes to the exterior of it, um, it's a traditional travel trailer. Um, it's actually got a pretty high ceiling. Um, you've got your electric jacks in the front, two 20-pound propane tanks mounted. 
Um, when you switch from the fifth wheels to the travel trailers though, you don't have the legs in the front. You just have your single point jack and you have your stabilizer. So you do have to do a little more work when it comes to setting up. So this unit uh, this is actually a little larger. It weighs in at 11,290 pounds. You can take with you a carrying capacity of right around, I don't have the conversion with me, but your, car your carrying capacity is gonna be right around 1,700 pounds. When you go from kilograms to pounds, um, I'll have to go to the sticker in the door and it'll be specific. I'll check your other basement entrance. Now this one has three slide outs, two on your driver's side and one on the passenger side. We'll go check it out. There's my beautiful wife, Amber. So you have your hot water heater. Of course, your black tank flush, cable hookups. Baby doesn't come with dogs. No, the baby doesn't. They've been starting to implement people with dogs. You got your lit. You got your uh, uh, tie down point for your dogs. For you know, for those who have your dogs and love your dogs, as well as outdoor shower. Now these they they've started to put racks on the back because people like the racks. So you got a flip down rack with your spare tire right above the bumper. And it's actually pretty well put together. Um, I like it. Um, there's a few other units that are here that are very similar that we'll add on. Um, but they're, the only difference is gonna be a little bit on the inside and the outside will be pretty much the same. But I'll let Amber walk you guys through that. So really quickly, this is a new 2022 Coachman and this one has three slides on this side versus this one that I just showed you guys only has two. So let's take a look in this one and see what's the difference. All right, so this is the 2022 Coachman. So it's just like the one I just showed you, but it has um, three side slides on one, on three. Oh, okay. It has three slides on this part versus only two. And the difference is the room. Awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Because it gives mommy more space in her room, right? You have a full-on mirror. Look at the closet space versus the one I just showed you guys. Now, we lost a lot of that long space, but we still have some type of shelving. But the closet is amazing. And you have a little more storage than you did at first. So, that is awesome. And it has more storage going up. So, that's what you get with the extra slide is your bigger room. More dresser space. And then your TV can go right here as well. I think that's pretty cool. So that's the difference of the extra slide. For the most part, everything else looks pretty much exactly the same. The bathroom has more of a glass, um, which everyone has their own preference on how they like the shower built. Um, but the room is smaller. Okay, so that's another thing. The room is smaller. So this slide doesn't go out like it did on the other one. But you still have, oh, you only have three beds. That's the difference. So where mommy gets more space, the kids don't. Yep, got to choose, you got to pick. Guess you can't have everything, right? All right, let's move on to a different So this RV. is pretty much how the dining area looks when you let the bed out and when you let the couch out. So other people can sleep. But being that we're full-time, I would definitely like them not to sleep here everybody need their own room all right yeah totally are you taking different. breaks on the job judah you supposed to be working get back to work get back to work judah <laughs> so this is the one that the children found so we're gonna let them do a quick tour jeremiah and peyton you want us to come see it come and tell us about it so, all right I so let jeremiah start now, I like, like I like that we have yeah, more room yeah. at the table to eat with. And Oh, that is much bigger actually. Yeah. And then we got a bigger kitchen. Come on, boy, get to work. Mom, do you like the one that I picked? Mom, did you like the one me and Jay? I did. I liked it. Oh, and we have this. Okay. I want the one. I'm gonna show you the one. I'm good at toy haulers, but not travel shoes. And then Oh, so that one is a Toy hauler. Everyone look in that it one. It has kids. But again, it's still a Catalina. 
by Coachman, but it's a toy hauler. So let's take a look at what's different about this one. So this one is absolutely different where it does have another room. That room is in the living room, but this will work for somebody that don't have as many kids as we have, <laughs> or it could work for as many kids as we have because there's still enough bedding. That is bed and that is bed. They both are a happy jack and they both come down and you can still open this up and have a patio. Um, but it does come with just the recliners or if you have like an ATV or what's other toys, right? Uh, you can, motorcycles or whatever, you can bring it in, hook them down and bring them along with you. Um, I'm gonna give you a view from this side and then you still have your kitchen kids does not come included and you still have your refrigerator and everything so let's take a look at the room it's a decent size okay so the room still looks the same but again i'm showing you this to, sh to show you that same model same brand company but different makeup so that this video is to show you the same brand in the same model kind of like they're all catalinas and they're all by coachman but they all have still deep different features so when you're looking at rv try to make sure you look at every version of that of that type of rv so that you can pick the best one for you and your family